Um, this has been the person I got to know last semester, and he's become a homie. And he's actually my cousin, which is really fun. Okay, he's not my cousin, but it's fun to say that. Um, he's just someone that I have been able to watch and see how um, he is truly one of the most dedicated men that I've got to know at his age. He really, anything that he goes after, he I mean, even that he wants, he goes after hard, and he truly trusts God and is committed to the Lord. So I'm really excited to have Jared Barnes come give his testimony. I'm good. No mic. No mic needed to that tonight. How you guys doing? Good. Good. So Natasha said I'll be sharing my testimony, and while I think my my life before Christ and my journey to it has been extremely unbelievable and beneficial to share with you, what I want to share with you tonight actually is that daily process. So what do I do on a daily basis to continually submit my life to Christ? Because I think we sometimes forget that. It's a, it's a huge part of our Christian walk, and that, that daily practice, that, that every day submitting yourself. So real quick, Natasha only gave me five minutes. She said, no more than five. Said, All right, I'll be right to it. First thing you want to do, right now I'm in a time of transition. I just finished my football playing career, trying to figure out that next step. What do I do? All these moving parts, people asking me, well, I'm not sure what to answer, and it's, it's frustrating sometimes. So me, you know, I'm human, I work, and so I worry, and I think, and I think, what am I gonna do now, what, what about now, what about now? And, and sometimes it'll go to the point where I can't sleep at night. And probably the past three months, I've had five um, anxiety attacks, where I wake up in the middle of the night, my heart's just beating super fast, and I'm like, ooh, like, I, gotta, I gotta chill. And, and sometimes I'll forget that God is right there with me. He's right there with me. He's right there for each and every one of you only if you turn to it. So again, first thing you want to do, in times of transition, focusing on the daily walk. Again, you want to focus on the promise of God, not on your circumstance or your feeling. It's there in the Bible. He is with you. He will not forsake you. He's with you wherever you go. You know, and he, he is who he says he is. He's not, he's not going to leave you. Second thing, get in a spiritual routine. The first 45 minutes of my day are spent in the Word, spent in prayer, and spent in worship. I know it sounds kind of corny, kind of cheesy, but literally the first thing I do after I hit my alarm, I get out my devotional. I don't allow myself to get out of bed until I finish reading the devotion. So I literally force myself to do it. And that's how it started. Now it's part of my ritual and I'm excited to do it. I can't wait. I'm like, ah, I gotta get that word so I can get the fire in my soul. Okay, so that spiritual routine is critical. Third thing you wanna do, evaluate your circle. You gotta really, really think about what type of influences are going into your life. And, and I'm blessed so much, so much. I got to give her a shout out, my girlfriend in the back, Bianca. The reason I love her so much is because she keeps me grounded. See, you know, anytime I get so high, she's like, Jared, you're not even that sweet. <laughs> okay, but when I get too low, she always brings me back up. You need good people, you need great people in your circle, people who are gonna be there for you. So really evaluate who's in your life, what is in your life, so the media, the music, every, the images you see on a daily basis, and most importantly, your thoughts. Because you talk to yourself the most, that self-talk, critical. And then last thing, number four, you gotta walk by faith. My favorite movie of all time, Book of Eli. And Denzel Washington, one of my favorite actors, um, to put it in context, it's like a post-apocalyptic world, nuclear bomb destroyed everything, and he's one of the survivors. And, and one of the uh, people just wandering around, where are you going, Denzel, where are you going? He said, West. And we find out at the end of the movie, he was actually blind the whole movie. And he just kept going on that faith, just kept walking west, kept walking west because that's what he believed in. And so you have to do the same thing with your faith. You just got to keep going. And, and I think back to the book of Job, and he's one of my favorite characters in the Bible. I'm like, how did this man continually push through everything that he went through when God stripped everything from him? He said, though he slay me, yet shall I trust him. He just kept going, just kept going. And that's what I want for you guys. Because right now, to be honest, I still worry. I'm human. I'm going through a lot right now, trying to figure out that next step. You know, where do I go? Do I pursue this? Do I pursue that? You know, do I move here, live here? All that kind of stuff, all those pressures. You guys are gonna feel it as soon as you end up, end, uh, end with your sport. It's very real, it's very real. Um, but I want you guys to be prepared and regardless of what's going on in your life, I still wake up every day with that joy, with that fire and excited to see what God's doing in my life. And that's why I'm so glad Natasha asked me to speak, to share that with you. I try to keep it short, to the point. But again, number one, I wanna make sure you guys get this Focus on God's promises not the circumstances you're feeling. Number two, get in a spiritual routine. Three, evaluate your circle. And four, walk by faith. Thank you, guys. Thank you.